while we wait for the snow to melt, roughly in like a couple of hours, we're hoping that we can see pavement on these roads again. Even Shane's car is immovable and Ren didn't even put his car in the garage. We're gonna make our way to Sears because it's finally time we say goodbye. These people don't know how to park. Well, all right guys, one of the last remaining Sears home stores in all of North America. This place is gonna be abolished. And actually, I think today is the last day that this one is open. Damn. So for today, since it is the last day, pretty much liquidating everything, including the store fixtures. It'd be beneficial for us to see what they have in store, literally, because we might actually end up using some of this stuff for our own store. This could come in handy too, but I think it's already sold. We might actually be able to use these store fixtures though. Maybe even these clothing racks. It's actually turning out to be a really beautiful day. Look at this ratchet. Peace, Sears home. Okay. Big shout outs to Sears. First of all, it is kind of sad that it is closing, but uh, they gave us dibs on the stuff that they were gonna be throwing away today. There's a welcome rug, which we're probably gonna be using in the front foyer of our house. They were gonna throw away TV stands, signs, easels for my art and paintings. Dude, this is the boss's office chair. Got ourselves a mini fridge. They even gave us their sample rugs. Like, what? You guys know that saying, another person's treasure is another person's garbage. Sure. Rest in peace, Sears. You guys actually don't know, I used to work there. It used to be my day job. What the heck? You're gonna unfurl it? Welcome. Can you kindly use your skizzers? We got the Sears welcome mat. Maybe we could use it for the shop. Sick. Yo, this is awesome, dude. Yo, thanks for washing this. Wow, that cleaned up good. So we got a new package, which I received from Derpy, which he received from RWB Blackbird, a friend from Arizona. And, uh, oh, shout outs. By the way, whatever is in this little package, thank you. I've been trying my luck at getting one of these and I have no idea where you even get it. So I'm pretty sure there's only one place you can get this. So I'll show you what's in this box. It's a legitimate JDM license plate. And it's the ones that light up in the dark. Sick. These are Varsity hoodie jackets with his logo on it. So we'll open it up. Let's see what this looks like. On the side, you got RWB embroidered. I, this is awesome, man. Thank you. Now this is super cool from the motherland. Yo, shouts to Levi for the JDM plate. Imagine. Yours. That plane sounded close. Yes. All right. All right. Let's give it a shot. Yo, is this her open? Yeah, I think it is. Or maybe he opened it, I don't know. I won't touch it. See if Shane's car even starts. The road is slushy enough and we have faith. We're gonna try to bring our cars to the garage now. Good old Canada. All right, Steven's gonna put his car in this garage too. Jerry's already got his in here. Trying to make use of this space. Let's do it. Dude, it's not all that bad. Oh, it's not that bad. I just need to get it down this hill. See that? If Shane can go through 
Okay, we got this, boys. All right, I think that would have been the hardest part is just getting it down this hill, but most of the snow has melted, so I think we're safe. For wherever we drive there's snow, this is gonna act as a snow plow. Take it slow, there's Eddie and his winter beater. Hey! Yo, we're in business, boys! That should be okay. Nice. Back up. Awesome, dude. All right, finally did it, guys. Today might be one of the last nicest days of Calgary before a snowstorm hits. So I think today probably was one of the better days for us to do this. And so now this place is actually being used for its purpose. And upstairs here, if you guys don't already know, we had a small opening to public. For any Calgary locals who do want to come visit us at the store, it's open, but I have yet to actually make that huge announcement on any of my social medias. So for now, it's just a small, Light opening, you guys are welcome to visit us here at the garage. And it's just like a chill pad, man. Come here, hang out, shoot the shit, do some car stuff. And every time you come here, you will be able to come check out the LR cars. So for sure, these two are gonna be here all winter. And you'll definitely be seeing a lot of changes on these two. You guys are probably asking, what else can I possibly do to this thing? I have a lot in store, you guys are just gonna have to wait and see. At least they're parked. And over here, we got a plethora of car parts that are still for sale. Stock OEM FRS seat, if anyone's looking for one. Takata Drift Pro, I think. It's the cheaper one of the two that are available from their website. And the Illis Bride Collaboration seat is also for sale. Just a whole bunch of FRS parts. That crash bar is for an FRS. SCI wing, which goes for a WRX stock body. And bumpers. Yo. We ended up finishing up a little early at the garage. I mean, we just dropped off the cars and Eddie ended up going home. And just a reminder, actually, some of those items are still up for grabs and they're being sold on the website, kingsmusterize.com. If you guys are at all interested, check it out on the website. But yeah, some of you guys were asking about these paintings. All of the paintings that you see in this house are actually by me. And they were pretty much just collecting dust in my storage locker until we got this place. It gave me a reason to actually hang them up. Here's a little close up of this oil painting that I did of Heath Ledger's Joker. It took like roughly seven hours. It's so much better in the dark. His eyes are just a sliver of white on black. 
pretty menacing. And the Majin Buu painting, which is made out of acrylic. Another small announcement. We've restocked on a bunch of the stickers online. Stacks on stacks of Bulbasaurs and Pikachus, Squirtles. And for the DBZ fans. As far as clothes and stuff, we're actually running low on supplies. I mean, if you guys do order within the next day or so, there may be a small chance that it'll arrive before Christmas but I can't guarantee that. I mean, me and a couple of my buddies, we work as efficiently and as fast as we possibly can, but we're only human. I still have to manually type in all of your guys' info and sizes and all of that just to print out the shipping labels. And it's just like a matter of packaging and shipping them out. It does take time. Remember guys, we try to work as fast as we possibly can, but once it's out of our hands, and especially during this time, you know how it is during the holiday season, post office, gets pretty busy. I appreciate your guys' feedback, the response is awesome, and I hope that what we're doing inspires you guys to go out and do your own thing. So that's pretty much it. Like, if you guys order within the next day, maybe it'll arrive before Christmas, who knows. And just a small shout out to all the new subscribers. If you like what you see, I hope you guys stick around for a while. Thank you. Thanks for taking the time to stop by the channel. Let it snow.